trailer is going to start to kind of dip and dive. You're coming up over that last hill. As you can see, man, that thing, you're twisted up pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, what's interesting is with the, where the hitch is placed, I'm actually noticing the nose of the trailer it obviously is following the truck as the truck is shifting to the right as it's articulating through the right. notches there. There you go. And... Uh... 17, 18 degrees sideways. Back to the Right? Yeah. The trailer is going to be still on that on that angle while you're coming down off of it. Pay attention to what you're recording, bud. Mm -hmm. We are <laughs> sideways. As we speak, we cannot see the trailer. And what I would do here, yep. you're getting a little, you're gonna get a little bit of pull with the trailer. You're bringing it farther up. So what I would do is probably straighten it out and kind of head off that way into the corner and then turn into the driver. Yep. There's the big hit. It was. That was pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> the big wow. hill of right. doom. So as we start, as we talked about yesterday, right? We want to go straight up, straight down. Yep. Right. It, you know, same has to happen with the trailer. If we have a, a failed hill climb, this is where we have to really be very think careful. Yeah. Be careful as we back down, um, and that that obviously gets into the situation of okay. We want to keep the wheel straight going down. The trailer doesn't want to do that. Yes. Right? So we have to kind of follow the trailer there. a little bit. We have to figure out how to do that. And we're going to have to, we don't want to turn sharply. Small to turn turns to try small, to follow. Right? Yeah. So as we talked about yesterday, straight, like I said, straight up, straight down. And you want to basically keep a good, solid pressure on the gas as you yep. get up there with the trailer. And you know what we have here, right? You want to give it a little bit more ump to get up. Um, when you get to the top, because you're still pulling dead weight. You want to go a little bit farther. You want to go a little bit farther, but I would actually say go ahead and transition into coming down off the other side. Because you okay. want to use this weight to continue pulling that guy up. Yeah, I got right? you. Okay. And obviously when you get to the, you're getting that break over, you want to make sure you kind of bring it down slowly. Yep. We're going up the big hill of doom. <laughs> Keep going. 26 degrees, 27. Keep going. You got it. 27 degrees. Oh All right. So we have a failed hill climb. Okay, so this is where we want to go ahead. We're going to slowly bring it back. We failed. Slowly bring it back. And you're fine. You're pretty straight right now. You're pretty straight. You're still straight. Mm. Excellent work. And we're back down the big hill of doom. All right, so what we need is a little bit more, a little bit more juice on this one. A little bit more earlier. Yeah. You just got to the point where basically the dead weight was holding you back. The truck is still wanting to go. Yeah. Right? And you probably would have, you would have been fine like yesterday. But that guy, if the, if the, if the 
Yep. So let's go ahead and work it up again. Alright. You can see where you got stuck. We're going up. We made it! Yeah. Right? Yeah. We made it up the big hill! We're going down! <laughs> right? Yeah, it's funny, I can't even see the trailer now. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> you can't even great. see. And that! Now look, the trailer's gonna wanna push going you down, down the hill, right? Yep. Same approach angle for these as before. It was 27 degrees right. going up. Here, the thing with this, right, is your lock, your I do not know what down, it was down. Yeah. Right? So as you're basically crossing those, you'll actually be literally over the second tree before those tires are hitting the, the tree. Right? Now, yeah. 